Hi, this is Lisa Allen, and in this video, I'm super excited to be giving you a sneak peek at my new keyword ignition tool. Now, this is it that we're looking at right here, and what this tool does is it uses the massive databases that all of the major search engines, including Google, Yahoo, Bing, YouTube, and Amazon have. Now, these databases that they use what they do is that when you are typing a search and I don't know if you've noticed it, when you're typing a search in Amazon or in Google or YouTube there is a list of suggestions that drops down below as you're typing and so these are high quality keywords higher quality than than even some of the ones that you get out of the keyword planner because these are things that people are actually typing and that are among the top queries that Google is suggesting and yet they are long tail keywords and so those long tail keywords are a little bit easier to rank for and but they, these are very specific and include lots of things that you might not even thought of to search for and so this is a great way to brainstorm ideas and discover market opportunities and things that people in your niche want to know about or want to buy and so this is a really awesome tool and I think you're really going to enjoy it so first of all, let's just look at the idea spinner and I'm just going to kind of explain a little bit of what you're looking at here. Now the search phrase box is where you would type in things that you want to search for. Now you see that it says wild cards. Now a wild card is basically in the query an asterisk. And what this does, that if I put in best camera and best cameras for, or maybe best camera for, let's just stick with that one and I have a bunch of other suggested searches here but if I just put these in the in there as it searches the application is going to put an A where the asterisk is and then it's going to put a B where the asterisk is and so in this way it's going to get Google to suggest different keywords that it knows about that people might be typing if they typed in best camera B or best camera A and so it returns uh, a lot of ideas in our niche that Google knows about and that we might not have thought of. So let's just run a search and you can see that it works fairly quickly. It doesn't take it too long to come back with a whole lot of uh, whole lot of suggestions. We're already over a couple hundred while we've been just chatting. So I'm just gonna wait a few more seconds let it finish you can see that it's in the V's best camera for V best camera for Z okay so now it's done and we got 518 keywords nice long tail quality keywords out of here that people are looking for and so let's just remove duplicates that removed just a few and then we can just kinda look through the rest of these and figure out where the opportunities are in our market for whatever our business is. Now if I had an online camera store I might want to know about all the things that people are typing into Amazon and I might want to stock some of them in my store. If I had an affiliate store I might want to make sure that I have listings for these kinds of, of uh, items in my store that may be pointed to Amazon. Now I could also be writing material on the best cameras for birding or bird photography and for bloggers and so there's a lot of different content that we could be writing here to answer the question that people are asking what's the best camera for this niche and this topic and of course you don't just have to stick with the searches that we've already put here in the can searches you can type in and change anything here that you like if you think of a search that works for you there's a whole bunch more in the can searches to kind of get your mind to get your ideas flowing and to help you understand the different ways that you can get information out of the search engines this way and then if there are searches that you come up with that you like to use a lot or a group of searches that you like to use a lot you can add them here in different folders and the nice thing about the custom groups is that let's say I had maybe six items in here that were my favorite searches for this particular topic then I could add them all here 
And if I wanted to just add one, if I double click, see it adds it there. But if I double click the folder, it adds everything that's in the folder. And so I don't even have to go and click click all six or seven or you know maybe there's ten searches that I always use together. I can just double click on the folder and it will add them all. Now there's also a related keywords module that does a slightly different job of, of scraping the uh, autocomplete results. And for this one you can get results from Amazon. So these would be products that Amazon uh, is listing and that people are searching for in Amazon. Uh, in YouTube you can find out what kind of videos people are actually looking to watch and searching for. And using the three big search engines you can actually kind of, uh, there will be some overlap when you use all three of those together, but you, each one has suggestions and keywords in their database that the others don't. And so you can get even more suggestions by uh, using all three together. And it will just take these seed, key, seed keywords and feed them in. Uh, if you just want just the, for like say my thing was camera lens, was one of my seed keywords. Well, if I don't click A to Z, it will just do the, the top level search just for that one. But if I add A to Z, then it will go through and add A to Z to the end of that query and show me all of the different products that people are looking for in Amazon. And so how valuable is that to be able to know exactly what kinds of things people are looking for and how they're describing it when they, they look for it. So it makes it really easy to find market opportunities here. Now there is another feature here and that is the places spinner. And basically what this does is it can go out and take the name of a target city and it doesn't have to be in the United States. It can be even like Budapest, Hungary, or you know Moscow, Russia, and it will find the nearby cities for you, and then you can create local keywords from that just by having add-on keywords. So let's just do Chandler, just so that you can see what it's going to do here. Okay, so it found uh, all of these different cities for me that are surrounding Chandler, and then I can create add-on keywords for it. So for my niche, like say I'm a local SEO and I have a dentist that I am looking to help. I can also put in the word dentist or uh, emergency dentistry. And so I can create these huge list of keywords because it just goes out and it adds this keyword to the name of the city and you can choose whether to add it before the city or after and now you can see that we've generated this list of local keywords with our niche so with the word dentist and with emergency dentistry and it makes it so that we can do that just really fast if you've ever been really sick of adding you know going through and trying to cut and paste and and add these keywords and you're you're trying to do it maybe for a video or something this is a really fast way to do it because you don't have to use just cities if you want to fill in uh, a first keyword here and a second keyword here and spin them all together it doesn't care whether these are cities or not so you can just fill this in and, and use that uh, for for not only local SEO but other things like uh, video tags and things like that